What's going on, YouTube? It's Young Greatness. You already know. Um, check this out. Got the craziest video for you. Um, simplest tutorial, y'all. Now, this, this one is specifically for people who have the MPD series or any of the Akai controller series. Um, specifically for you, but for anybody who... And, and um, other people who have controllers who may have the note repeat function, um, whose controllers sync up with the clock in logic or whatever. Uh, easiest, the easiest thing in the world. I figured it out today. I saw a guy's video on YouTube and I figured I'd post this for my, for my subscribers as well. Um, thanks for subscribing. Make sure you check out my links at the bottom to the website, um, to the music. Um, but the simplest thing, if now I know that when we're in our projects and stuff, I mean, we try to use the, 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 the note repeat, say, say I want to start late in the project, um, like around here and I'm playing, actually, let me do and I want to use my note repeat there, right? I have to press stop and try to get it to sync up. not always on time I mean I could sit there and record that and show you it's not on perfect time I mean for my purposes now it kind of sounds good like it's on time but it's really not I mean better example you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? that the results are not consistent they're not consistent at all um, so I mean that takes a lot of effort and maybe mess up the creative flow all right whatever Simple thing, you see where my mouse is, I'm gonna just take that, say that's where I wanna start. If I, if I wanna get my note repeat and just drag it back all the way back to the beginning, all the way back to bar one. So now, what that does is that's called the skip function. You're able to skip a cycle in Logic and that creates another start point in, um, in a section. So, I mean, it's t I think it's mostly used for like film scoring or whatever, but it creates another start point right here. And that's what actually syncs up with your MPK or your MPD. So when you start, and you'll get consistent results. You can't just start from right there. You can't just start from right there. You have to start from behind bar one. See what I'm saying? So that's, I mean, you can start anywhere. So you can create a whole different jump pad and anywhere. And that works for the arpeggiator as well. If I want to start over here, I want to start over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, that's pretty awesome. You know what I mean? Um, the key command for it is J. Um, J equals is to set your locator. So if you're if you're working in a project and you're just going on the fly and you're saying, hey, I want to jump from whoop de whoop to whoop de whoop, then boom, bam, got it. You know what I'm saying? And then, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's that's not actually possible. Just set your locators there and then J. So if you already got your locators here, repeat the section. You know what I'm saying? Or you'll figure it out. I'm sitting there telling you how to work. You'll figure it out. But that's, you know, the main thing um, is making sure that's on skip cycle. Just, you know, reversing those two. And then make sure making sure that outermost, that right part is wherever you want your note repeat to start. And then, boom, you got it from there. And keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep making your music a show. Yo.